In your home maintenance category, we have something new that we think you might not know about and we'd like to talk to you about today, and that is the new uh, federal requirements for water heaters. As of April 16th of this year, water heaters have to be manufactured at a bigger size, not necessarily more gallon capacity, but at a size that has more insulation around it so that it makes the tank bigger for the same capacity. So what does that mean for you? Well, nothing as long as your water heater works, but when you have to replace it, then we're going to have to look at things like, does that new water heater fit in the space you have? And if you're like me, you probably have your water heater in a little closed-in closet space, and it's going to be tight in there. It already is tight and it might not fit in the new space, so you have to take that into consideration. And then um, you have to have electricity to it now. Water heaters didn't always have to have an electric unit to it, so if your water heater space, wherever it is, doesn't currently have an electric outlet nearby or electric to it, that will have to be put in. So when it comes time to replace a water heater in the future, and for many of you, if it's been 10 years or so, it's going to be the near future, then you're going to have to think about all those things. We do have some home warranty plans that are currently covering uh, that new water heater and the construction of it. So we uh, would love to talk to you about that. Those home warranty plans are where you pay an annual premium and then uh, for every service call for the covered items, which water heaters are covered, then you pay a deductible. So those are often done on the purchase, of the seller purchase it for the new homeowner for a year. And after that, a lot of times homeowners let it go, but um, it may be worth it for some of the new things that you have to do to have that home warranty plan. So give us a call about that and um, beware about your new water heater requirements.